Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is my second podcast, and thank you for joining me. I'm Melissa C. Williams, and this is the BBPN Business Podcast. Okay, let's get started. So the last show, or my first show, I should say, that I had, I uh, we talked about who I am and what makes me qualified to start a business. And we also um, got you registered. So you registered your business either as a sole proprietor, an LLC, a sole LLC, you incorporated, or you became an S Corp, or a nonprofit. Okay. So now that your your business is registered, you got your EIN. Then you had to apply for your CIN, which is your tax identification number. And a lot of this stuff you can do online. If you go back to my first podcast or even look in my books, all that information is listed. That you can get your TIN from the IRS.gov site. And a lot of this information you will be able to download. The other thing I wanted to tell you is when you, whether you're working from home, you have an office or a, a retail space, you're going to have to invest in some things, some things that you'll need. First, you'll need, of course, a cell phone. Um, a, a laptop or a computer is very, very important. It's helpful. And another thing you want a desk. It can be a used desk that you can get anywhere, auction or friends. Um, you can get a cheap desk from, I think, like Home Depot or Ikea. I have a used desk, actually. You can go online. There's plenty of marketplaces like Craigslist and eBay that you can find inexpensive things, especially a lot of things that I'm telling you about. So there's a lot of ways to get around uh, the money situation, and that's what we're going to talk about today. But before I do, we're going to get into, and oh, you also need, um, when you're downloading things, it's good to have a copy machine. So you can kind of get an inexpensive copy machine from like a Walmart, a Staples, and I don't know what region you're looking at me from, so wherever state you can find an office door, uh, you can get a, a very inexpensive copy machine. I mean, some of them are like, download your document, make copies of all the certifications that you're going to need that I'm telling you about. So I'm going to give you another certification that you're going to need. And some of these are free. And some of these, these, these things that you need to legitimize your business and you should make copies of them. Also, you can keep copies of these things either on a board or you can also get a, um, a safe which is pretty important to lock up your your documents, okay? Always to keep a copy, keep a copy of your information, just in case. Always have a second um, copy, photocopy of everything that you do, right? And also, if any of these documents are lost, you can always still go back online and document them, order them by mail, or uh, have them sent to you and download them, okay? Pretty easy. So, the next thing you're gonna need after you register your business you have your TIN. I also told you that you can open your business bank account. Okay. You're going to need a seller's permit. Okay. Now each town and state might call it something else, but I call in here where I'm at, we call it a mercantile license. So you're going to get a mercantile license and you can get that normally from your, in your jurisdiction, your, like a town hall your municipal building, your local municipal building has the mercantile license. And anyone who has a business, whether it is a home-based business, whether it is a food truck, um, a wherever your your business is, and whether you're selling a product, even you know, even online, whether you're selling a product or a service, you need to have a seller's permit. And that's going to cost you something that you pay for annually. And this is to actually say that you are doing business in that borough or that uh, county, okay? And you will need permission. You will need that cert certification. It should run you about 50 between $50 and $54. I don't know what it is right now. I can't remember. Um, since COVID, a lot of rules have changed, but a lot of things will stay the same. And I don't know if you can download it online, so you can just call your local municipality. So I live, let's say you live in Asbury Park, you can call your local Asbury Park Municipal 
go there and probably go there and um, pick up your uh, mercantile license there. Just pay a fee, give them the information about your business, and you're on your way. You have your next certification. Now, some of the things, some of the certificates and legitimizing your business and some of the things that you're going to need will cost some money. And this is an important subject. How do I raise capital for the things that I need for my business, okay? And this is something that I talk about in the book. So I give you ideas. I just like to give you ideas of what you're going to need, what you need to do, okay? Like this is a step-by-step -step process. So right here on my desk, I have my coins. Some of you might know where I'm going with this. And another way that, fun way to collect money is um, I had an ATM bank that I ordered online a long time ago. And this is a fun way of collecting money. You can get your kids or things for yourself. And this actually talks to you and it tells you when you made a deposit. You can use change, you can use a card. It also tells you how much is in your bank. It actually talks to you, so it tells you how much. So what's the point of this? This is one way that you can raise money for your business is a lot of you have coins. You have collected coins over the years. You have money, you have change you just take and you toss it into a jar or into a bag. And I know people who have in their house right now probably like five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars worth of change and they're sitting there saying, Oh my god, that's me. Yeah. So in order to take care of a lot of things, if you don't have extra money, to get your business off the ground and to do the things to get your certifications and to get your um, marketing materials or whatever you need to get started to buy your tools, your products, whatever. These are some ideas that I'm going to give you. Now, before I get into the ideas, I want to tell you a little story about the change thing. And this is how this came about. Like, you can take the change to Coin Star, okay, and turn your change in. And like I say, don't throw away your money, don't toss it, put it in a jar, save it, and when you get enough, you can turn it in. That, those pennies, those nickels and those dimes, they add up, and they kind of save you, especially if you need, you have an emergency, you need gas, you have to go pick somebody up, whatever it is, that money comes in handy. You never know, that might be $50, it could be $100 worth of coins in your house, right? And so here's the story. Um, one day, this was a long time ago, um, there was another business owner and he had to go take care of some business for like three days. So he wasn't, he asked me if I could fill in and help out um, for three days in his business. So I said, okay, I'll do that. It wasn't hard. He just said, um, you know, do this, collect some money, et cetera, put it in the cash register. And he was going to pay me after three days. Okay, I'll do it, no problem. I've always helped out other business owners in any way that I can. If I had the time, if I had downtime, if they needed somebody to operate their business and they trust me, and, and I need, and sometimes, you know, the little, that extra money came in handy for me. And it was also good because I got out of the, you know, I, I have a home-based business. So I got out into the open with all the time. So anyway, I worked for the guy for about three days. And I think he asked me as to work an extra day because it was four days. And he told me how much he was going to pay me. So <laughs> when he comes in and he calls me down, he says, I have your money. I'm driving down thinking, you know, he's going to give me a check or he's going to give me cash. Good, 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 good. So I get there to the store. And I see a jar of money. And he hands it to me. So I'm looking around and I say, it was a bunch of pennies, nickels, and dimes. And I said, so who is this for? And he said, this is your pay. He says, all you have to do is just go and turn it in at the bank. I'm, I'm just livid. I'm angry because I'm thinking, so you had me working here, told me you're going to pay me. But you know what? You live and you learn because he never said that he was going to give me cash. He never said that he was going to pay me. He said he was going to pay me. And he told me how much. But when he paid me with the pennies, nickels, and dimes, and then I did take it to the bank because I had no choice, it was the amount of money that he said it was going to be, whatever the pay was, 100, 200, whatever. I don't even remember what it was. But anyway, 
my all my anger, I was so angry with the situation because I had to go do so much to get this money, and I was like, was it worth it? I'm not really sure, but it got me to thinking that, you know, porn star, you know, we take um, change and we just toss it and we act like it's nothing. And to somebody, that money adds up, and it's actually money that we can use. So let's get back to the ideas for um, raising capital for your business. And so there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to need. Like we said, some certifications will be for free and some will cost you money. So one way to raise money is to go to the porn star, which could be at Walmart. Um, local stores have them. Shops like some grocery stores have porn stars that are right in front of them. Don't be embarrassed. I've gone many a times to Cornstar. That has saved me in between getting paid uh, a 30-day net. When I'm starving, hungry, I need gas. I need to buy some more copy paper. Whatever it is I need, I would always turn in my change, okay? Another thing is you can borrow money from family members. You can, from family members and friends, they might help you with your business, and it has happened. You can set up a GoFundMe or a CrowdFundMe, a Kickstarter, and let people know that you have this new business. And there are some people, strangers, <laughs> will support you um, if they like your idea. A lot of people have started their businesses through um, crowdfunding. They've also gotten an investor, which could be a friend. You never know. Somebody might have some money sitting around, and you, they might become a private investor into your business. I know a lot of people who have invested into other people's businesses between five thousand or more dollars and help them get launch their company. So don't think that that's something that could never happen because because it can. Okay, some people really believe in you, and they will. I mean, just like on Shark Tank, when if you watch Shark Tank, um, when people present their ideas, then an investor will stand up and say, "Listen, I'll pay you this amount of money to." have an investment or a piece of your company okay so another way some other ways are um, if you got your tax refund back use it to start your business you can use one business to start another business your savings account is another way if you have any money in your savings uh, selling things selling unwanted items is a very popular way to make money some of you have valuable uh, vintage things that other people are looking for and some of those things are books books are a very good seller you may not think so but I know a guy who made money just from selling old books I mean he did very well he sold them at the auction he told me about it you can sell them at an auction you can sell have a yard sale a garage sale you can sell them online some of those sites are let go um, those are apps that you can download on your phone. So you have Let Go, Macari, and there's so many of them. You can sell on eBay. You can sell on, if you're on social media, the Facebook Marketplace is a great place. Another huge one is Craigslist. Um, and some of the things that you can sell, let me give you some ideas, are um, equipment. Any type of equipment, DJ equipment, music equipment, um, Yard equipment is very uh, is a good seller. Unwanted clothes, uh, designer items are a big one. Uh, trading cards, Beanie Babies. There's just so many things you would never know what people are looking for and how much they'll pay for things. Instruments, bass guitar, they fetch a lot of money, and you have to be patient. Post that stuff up and somebody's going to find it. Somebody's looking for it. You know what some things they're looking for that you never thought about? They're looking for wires. They're looking for things for old devices to turn them on. Old computers, chips, whatever you have sitting around might be something that someone needs. Another thing my son did to make uh, money, he had a lot of sneakers, expensive sneakers. And he, um, he had like six, seven pair in the closet. And one day I came home, and this, my son had a whole bunch of money. I said, so where did you get the money from? And he said, well, I sold my sneakers. And I said, okay, my old sneakers. Gently used sneakers, you know, so as they say, one man's junk is another man's treasure. 
Another thing is, some of you have a lot of cars, scrap metal sitting around. I believe you could make some really good money taking that down to the junkyard. Or there's even signs that are posted around that people will give you money in exchange for metal or even um, bottles and cans and old junk uh, cars that are sitting around. So those are a lot of good ideas. I'm sure you have more that you can add to it. I'm just trying to help you out and get you thinking, get your, get your brain moving, okay? Get you, give you some inspiration because I know you can do this. Uh, if you have a um, life insurance policy, you can borrow from the life insurance policy. You can borrow from your 401k plan, okay? You can also get a credit card. You can borrow, you can get a line of credit. You can borrow from, you can use credit cards for your business to get it started, okay? So if you have personal credit cards right now, we'll talk about later about how to get business cards. That's later on, okay? Let's move one thing at a time. So you can borrow from your 401k plan, your life insurance policy, which a lot of people don't know that they can do that, okay? Um, you don't have to, but just to give you an idea, if you have a house, you can take out a second, I believe a second mortgage. I don't have a house, but you can take out a loan, okay, on your house, or I guess they call it a second mortgage. Some of you are more savvy, you know what I'm talking about. But, um, so you can take out a line of credit, and these are some of the ideas that you can use to raise money. I have more written in my books. But I think those will kind of help you out a lot, have a yard sale. Like I said, a lot of you have things in your house that you are not using from laptops to computers to video games is a huge one. Video consoles, okay, music um, devices, all of that, you're not using them. Designer pocketbooks, sell that stuff, make that money, get that business, focus yourself in on the business, okay? Another way to raise money is to downsize, to make some sacrifices, okay? Less eating out, okay? You can save money by eating at home. I'm sorry to tell you, you might have to cook things for yourself. Sacrifice partying, make some sacrifices. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. Some of your vices, some of your gambling, some of your lottery tickets, cut back on that. You need extra money to focus on your company, okay? Whatever it is you need, getting your products, getting your business registered, doing the right thing, okay? So those are some ideas that I wanted to give you. And they're also in my books, like I said. If you want to purchase any of my books, so most of the stuff that I'm telling you can be found online at Amazon.com. This is one of my books. It's called I Clean and Make Money. And like I said, I've told you before, start your own damn business by Melissa C. Williams. Get those books, okay? Get that information and start applying the information that I am giving you. So now that you have all of those things done, you have um, your mercantile license, which is you can apply for. And that's going to be about, I said, anywhere from 50 to $54. Okay, now that will allow you, that is your seller's permit, and that will allow you, you need that because even in your town, you have to collect taxes. Now, just want to say a little bit about sales tax. When you are selling a product or a service, for most businesses, okay, you will collect a sales tax. The sales tax on what you are selling is not your money. It is not your money to spend, okay? That is the money that you are collecting on behalf of your town or your state or your federal or the federal government. That is money that you have to pay them, okay? So when you sell goods and services, you charge a sales tax. What is the sales tax for your state? Okay, it could be 8.8%, it could be 8.5%. Each state is different. It could be 9% in your state. How do you know what it is and how much do you charge? Um, so if you, you can download a sales chart, okay? And a lot of businesses have a sales chart that's right next to the cash register or the point of sales. And 
they look up like whatever they're selling and it'll it'll tell you um, how much everything for each sale okay so you can go online and download your sales chart so now I've given you plenty of things to do and I like to thank you for liking and subscribing to my second podcast and the next show is going to be even more exciting so what I'm going to do is give you information and I want you to apply it. So this is how I do things, okay? It's easy. I get educated, I learn, and then I apply it and I make mistakes. I do it wrong and I just keep doing it and do it and do it like riding a bicycle. I just keep getting back on until I get it right. It's like this podcast. I'm trying to get it right. But um, so the third podcast, which is coming up next, I would like to give you some business ideas, okay? like to say thank you for joining me like and subscribe to this channel thank you guys god bless peace and blessings and i'll see you next time for the next bbpn podcast